In 1840, Thomas Hardy was born near Dorchester, in Dorset. Many of Hardy's works took place in Wessex, which was Hardy's fictional name for Dorset. He came from a middle-class family. His father, also Thomas Hardy, was a master mason and building contractor. His mother, Jemima Hardy, was a literary enthusiast and provided for his education. When Hardy finished schooling in Dorchester, he was apprenticed to an architect. Hardy specialized in the restoration of churches. He was quite successful winning prizes from the Royal Institute of British Architects and the Architectural Association. In 1874, Hardy married Emma Lavinia Gifford. Emma's encouragement towards Hardy's writing made Hardy consider literature as his true vocation. Emma's presence in Hardy's life clearly made a strong impact on his writing. The couple's early passion is conveyed in Hardy's early romance novel, A Pair of Blue Eyes. Emma, however, suspected the novel was based on one of Hardy's extramarital affairs. Their relationship later descended into a distant estrangement. Emma became increasingly religious and denounced Hardy's iconoclastic writings and flirtations with other women. From 1891 to 1895, Tess of the D'Urbervilles and Jude the Obscure were published. The two novels caused a public uproar because of their Victorian immorality. Tess told the story of a young farm girl who was seduced by the wealthy Alec D'Urberville. She became pregnant with his child and was forever branded with the negative stigma Victorians often placed on rape victims. Hardy's other novel, Jude the Obscure, dramatized the conflict between carnal and spiritual life. Hardy vowed never to write fiction again. He spent the remainder of his life writing poetry. His poetry is still remembered today as a highlight of his career. Emma Hardy was later stricken with a gallbladder disorder. She passed away in 1912. Although Hardy's relationship with Emma had died over the years, her death had a traumatic effect on him, causing him to write a series of poems entitled Poems 1912-1913. Two years later, however, Hardy's woe was alleviated when he wedded his secretary, Florence Emily Dugdale, who was also 40 years his junior. Forty years after Emma's death, Hardy wrote a series of poems whose Latin title translated into Ashes of an Old Flame. The poems discuss the passion he had once felt with Emily, awakened by his union with Florence. Hardy later found one of Emma's old diaries. After reading a section entitled, What I Think of My Husband, Hardy promptly burned the diary. 
Some critics believe the ashes from the diary symbolizes the ashes and ashes of an old flame. In December of 1927, Hardy fell ill with pleurisy. He dictated his final poem to his wife on his deathbed. He died in January of 1928. Hardy was cremated in Dorchester and buried with impressive ceremonies in Westminster Abbey. His heart was supposed to be buried in Stinsford, his birthplace, but according to a literary anecdote, the heart was snatched by a cat out of his sister's kitchen, who disappeared into the woods with it. The end.